debate is in place. Brian? All right, Anna, thanks. Hey, they say slow and steady wins the race, but comedian Jay Leno says that's not going to work for Hillary Clinton. Let me ask you about Hillary, and let me ask you about this, because I, and I like her. I don't see the fire. Her and Elizabeth Warren are almost the same age. And I see Elizabeth Warren come out, boom, throwing yeah. a punch, boom, 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 right. boom. She right. seems to be sort of, seems very slow and very deliberate. I, I don't see that fire, you know, that, that fire that I used to see, that I, I see in Elizabeth Warren. Because I say to people, how much younger is Elizabeth Warren than Hillary? People go, oh, 15 years. No, no. 18 months. Wow, uh, here to react to that, our political panel here, brothers Dallas and Brad Woodhouse. Uh, Dallas is the founder of Cal Carolina, Carolina Rising, and Brad is the president of the Democratic Group for Americans United for Change. All right, Brad, does she look slow to you? She, she doesn't look slow. I think who's slow is Jay Leno. I mean, look, if I had retired, if I didn't have the stamina to do uh, a late night show anymore, I'd be the last one going around saying uh, someone was slow or old. Hillary Clinton would work circles around Jay Leno. But, you know, Dallas, she didn't have a great year. Uh, runaway, uh, most popular. She's going to get the nomination to a lot of mistakes, an average selling book. You saw some vulnerability, didn't you? Absolutely. Look, my mama raised me better than to talk about a woman's age, so I'm not going to do that. I think it's the, I think it is the age of her ideas. She does look tired. She needs a strong primary challenge from Elizabeth Warren, from Brian uh, Schweitzer, the you know the governor of Montana. There needs to be a vigorous primary challenge to energize the Democrats, which they don't have right now. But I think her ideas look tired, and I think the American people will. You know, see that Dallas. Tired. Dallas. No one. No one knows. What her ideas are yet? She's not an announced True. candidate. She's been out. She's been uh, on know, the public scene she, for 40 years, and nobody knows what that. she's about. That's no, a I'm scene, saying, that's a problem no, right I'm there, saying Brad. that. No, I'm saying that she has an opportunity. If she decides to run for president, she has an opportunity to bring forward right. maybe a whole new set of ideas. I mean, you don't know. Well, for her, right. Brad, I just say this she's going to have to make bell bottoms cool again. Right. She's going to have to make bell bottoms right. cool again. I'm not again. sure what that she's means, but I enjoyed back. it. Uh, Brad, I would say this. Uh, she, there is word last week that she's going to start separating herself from the president. That should be interesting. Let's walk over to Governor Mitt Romney. You know, I spoke with Ann Romney. She's been on our set on and off camera saying Mitt is not <laughs> running again. And then last week we get this. Everybody Everybody in here, he tells his friends, can go tell their friends that I'm considering a run. What's behind that, Dallas? Well, look, Mitt is a good man, and uh, I think he ran a pretty decent campaign. I guess the next one would be better. Uh, I think Mitt and Jeb both bring good things to the table, but I don't like that in the last week or so it has already devolved into a seventh grade uh, battle for the <laughs> harvest. Uh, the Harvest Fest homecoming parade. Right. Uh, what we need is a good battle over policies. The Republicans have a unique uh, challenge here that they can talk policy like they never have before. Very and true. we need to involve the current governors across this country, whether it be Rick Perry, who just left, but also right. Susanna Martinez, uh, Scott Walker, uh, John Kasich. We need a real right. policy debate. And I don't want to see this the, these two heavyweights getting right. to a personal fight. Now, Dallas, that, you're taking some of Brad's time now, and you guys got to take it all my camera. time, Brad. Brother. Real quick, aren't they the same candidate? Well, I think they are the same candidate, and I think what Mitt Romney sees is he believes he's better. He he thinks he's figured out the formula to win the primary and the, and then compete uh, in the general election, and he doesn't think Jeb Bush can do both of those things. Brad, uh, Brad, and Dallas Woodhouse, as long as you promise not to get along and agree, you can keep coming back. Great. Thanks, hey, Brian. That ain't a problem. That's a promise <laughs> I'll keep. Okay. Thanks. Bye, guys. Straight ahead. He's a decorated general. Credit